In this problem, it says let f and g be functions that are differentiable everywhere. If g is the inverse function of f, and g of negative 2 is 5, and f prime of 5 is negative 1 half, then g prime of negative 2 is what? Uh, from reading the problem, this is a problem that deals with derivatives of inverse functions. And so let's just write this up here. The derivative of f inverse of x is the reciprocal of the derivative of f evaluated at f inverse of x. All right, so what does that mean? When we have two functions that are inverses of each other, which means that they are going to be reflected over the line y equals x, and if one looks like so and the other looks like this, then the derivative, if we call this f and we call this f inverse, there are corresponding points on the two graphs. So for example, if this is point A comma B, then the corresponding point on the inverse graph would be B comma A. And all we're saying is that the derivatives at those two points are reciprocals of each other. So if I know that F that g is the inverse of f, and I'm trying to find a derivative on the g function, then I know that g of negative 2 is 5. Well, I don't know what the graph looks like. I don't know what the function is at that point. But I do know that I have a corresponding point of 5 and negative 2 on the f function. So this is on g. And this point is on f of x. And if I know, let me actually put coordinates to those two points then. This would be negative 2 comma 5. Then on f would be 5 comma negative 2. So again, these are corresponding points on two inverse graphs or two of, of two corresponding points on graphs of inverse functions and their reciprocals uh, sorry and their derivatives have to be reciprocals so what we do know is that we know at that the derivative here at and it's going to be negative one half let's say it looks like that so f prime of five equals negative one-half, then we know that the derivative on the corresponding, at the corresponding point on the g curve has to be, that would be g prime of negative two is going to equal to negative two. So, and what would that look something like? A gra maybe something like that. And again, we don't know what these curves look like. We have no more information than um, what is provided here. But the moral of the story is that when you have inverse functions, it, the corresponding points on the two different curves will have reciprocal derivatives. If you know one of the points, if you know the derivative at one of the points, then you can calculate the derivative at its corresponding point on the inverse curve. And that's all this is saying. They are reciprocals. And so the answer here is going to be negative 2. They're not reciprocals and opposite signs, as are in perpendicular uh, lines. They're just reciprocals. And so the answer is going to be E, or negative 2.